everybody. Welcome to our second class. Well, let's recapitulate our last class. Last class, we saw some vocabulary for describing objects. We have practiced how to describe objects. From grammar, we saw past passive voice and writing we started writing in formal letters and as we got letters I'm going to give you some feedback of your letters well as you know when you have to write an informal letter you have to comply with the task requirements in your letters, you had to apologize, okay, for not coming to that party. You had you had to explain why, and you had to suggest some meeting for lunch. So, what you have to avoid is, for example, this thing. Here says to suggest, and here somebody wrote the opposite. Thing. So confirm me what day and where. So this, please try to avoid going off subject. What it means is introducing or addressing or discussing things not relevant or concerned with the task requirement because this is not suggesting, this is asking for, for advice maybe. And here, another thing that I have seen in your letters is repetition. Please avoid repetition. See, I can go to and here in the same paragraph, so I can't go to your party. So you have to replace by another alternative. For example, be able to attend a party. So you say, I won't be able to attend your party. Another mistake that you have to avoid is Using the wrong word or part of a speech, it means if you have to use a noun, you use a verb. For example, here, you go to lunch. Lunch is a noun, so you cannot use as a verb. So you have to use the verbal expression to have lunch. There is another mistake that is <clears throat> very frequent, is the omission of subject eat. For example, here because it is my brother's party too, okay? So this is how it should be. Now here, another mistake, patterns and expressions. I'm afraid that here says next Saturday is my mother's birthday. So I'm afraid that the pattern is a negative idea because it is used to apologize for an inconvenience or a difficulty. So. The, the proper thing would be to say, I am afraid that I won't be able to attend to your party because so and so. Another thing that you have to bear in mind is tenses. For example, for example, here, we prepare a big party. This is present simple, it shouldn't be. We are preparing. And then here, well, here is omitted the preposition on. Here says that I have my brother's birthday. No, you have to use present progressive for future arrangements. And tense consistencies. If you start with present, you should go on with present. So here, it should be present perfect, not past perfect. Another mistake that is very frequent is mistakes as regard articles or number. It means plural, it, I mean plural or singular, for example. How about lunch, having lunch, not a lunch, okay? Well, then we are going to go on talking more about that. That's all for today. Bye.